texture of this thing is so good. Look at that. It still has a little of the chunky um fruits in it. But there you go. And if you break it, mm, look at that. Okay, good evening everyone. Welcome again to CJ's Kitchen. Um, and make sure you're liking and subscribing my video, um, my videos. I, um, I've been getting a lot of questions and I, and I do appreciate the questions and thank you for coming to my, um, channel. Um, so tonight, as you know, it's the season for Christmas. We're in the Thanksgiving season right now. I'm sorry you can't see my face, but I'm right here. Um, we're in the Thanksgiving season and as you can see, I have cakes. I have fruit cakes, I have um, Bailey's bread pudding, which I do is Bailey's bread pudding. And tonight, I it's nighttime, y'all. Um, and I'm about to make Bailey's um, fruit cake. Um, instead of using the regular white rum and uh, red label wine, we are using Bailey's, all right? Bailey's Irish cream. And so I've gone on ahead already and prepared most of my stuff. Here I have my um, my butter and my sugar. I got two pounds of butter, two pounds of sugar here over the side. My kitchen is small, you all. So for space, I'm cramped for space, all right? Um, over there I have two dozen eggs and those um, have been beaten. Um, and with, um, I had two dozen eggs with a tablespoon of lemon juice, right? And that's been beaten for a while and that's ready. So I went ahead and prepared. In here, I have five cups of flour. All right, five cups of flour and I'm gonna add the other dry ingredients to this. Um, I also have my fruits. I have about five pounds of fruits that I'm gonna add to this mixture. So I'm just gonna go ahead and show you the stuff that I'm gonna add. So like I said, I have five pounds. I got five pounds of um, flour. So sorry, not five pounds, five cups. All right, I got five cups of flour. And I'm gonna put a tablespoon, tablespoon of cinnamon. If you don't like cinnamon, you can lessen that. You don't have to use a whole tablespoon, a whole tablespoon. And then I have mixed spice. And for that, I'm just gonna do a teaspoon of mixed spice. I will do a teaspoon of mixed spice. And we also have ground nutmeg. In Jamaica, we call this nutmeg. <laughs> and I just do a half a teaspoon of the nutmeg, right? Because nutmeg can tend to get bitter. If it's something that's too overpowering in your cake, it can get bitter, right? Here, I'm gonna add a half a teaspoon of salt because you know, with, once you're using sugar and stuff like that, you need some salt to and, and help to enhance the flavor. All right, and what else do I have over here? Like I said, I'm strapped for space. And this is baking powder. And this baking powder I like to use, this is called um, Davis baking powder. This is one I use, even if I'm frying dumplings or I'm making, um, whatever I'm making, I use, I make sure to use this one. Cause this one, I don't even have to measure. I know how to use it. And you know, if you have too much baking powder in your product, like even your fried dumplings, it stains your teeth. So I'm gonna add five teaspoons. One, two, three, four. And that's five teaspoons of baking powder. All right, so I'm gonna cover this one.
and I'm going to this is my measuring cup so I'm just going to sift this together lighter and in case there was some stuff in your flower unwanted stuff in your flower you can just you know you stick that and you get rid of that and so this is my um my dry ingredients here and so we just combine that it's my dry ingredients and i'm gonna rest this aside for a little bit so I rest that aside and this is my pan you all as you know I normally use this big pot so now I'm just gonna free up free up my mixer this has my um like I said my eggs and sh sorry my butter and sugar all right there we go. So where did I go? This one. All right, I'm just gonna remove this. And so this is my butter and sugar that I've gone ahead and cream. My grandbaby's in the background, you all. She's getting a little fussy. She's ready for bed. All right, and see, we get all that out, right? And this is my egg mixture, you all. And like I said, it's been mixing for a while. And if only I can find where I with my wooden spoon. I'm back with my wooden spoon. So, and this is my butter and sugar creamed. And then I'm pouring my, and I'm just going to use my hand and I'm just going to mix that in. Like I said, this is two dozen eggs. And I am wearing a mask, you all, because these are for sale. And all these cakes and stuff you see on here, these are for sale. I don't want to drain this too much in case I have anything like a piece of eggshell or anything in the bottom of that pot. Because sometimes we do miss a bit of the eggshell and stuff so in here this is my egg butter and sugar and to this mixture i'm gonna add some um vanilla get my tablespoon again and i had like one two tablespoon of vanilla all right so i have two tablespoon of vanilla and this is my special stuff, rose almond from out of Jamaica. My mom always sent me those. I love the smell and the flavor of this is delightful. And I use it in all my baking. So I just put um, a tablespoon and a, a little bit. <laughs> Normally I don't measure when I'm baking, but you know, for those who aren't so much into baking, but would like to try I went ahead, I go ahead and do that for you. And this is just regular 
almond essence. So that too, I just add a tablespoon. All right, and we combine that again. And normally in Jamaica, you know, we always use our hands to bake our food cake, to mix our food cake. Mm, that smells so good. And then we're gonna add our flour. So now remember our dry ingredients. We're just gonna add a bit of it in there. So my fruits were soaked in um my fruits were soaked in some white rum and wine um red wine whether you have the red label we know here in america some people are not able to get the red wine but you can use like port wine whatever one of those sweet red wine you can find you can use them there's a bunch out there. There's one called Taylor. There's one, um, and uh, you have Port. You have a few. Once it's like prune wine and stuff like that. Grape wine. All right. So, and one question that I was asked is how do I prepare my fruits? Right? Um, Normally, as Jamaican, what we do as soon as we're done baking our Christmas cake and everything is over, we always put some more. Um, we always put some more fruits to soak. So normally, we have fruit soaking up to a year, right? We can have fruit soaking up to a year. Um, if you don't get to soak your food for a whole year. What you can do is boil your fruits like a week before, a couple of days before. Just make sure you boil them at a time so they get to cool. So you can boil them in the rum and the wine. Just boil them and it helps to tenderize them somewhat. And also soak up the, the rum and the wine into the, into the, um, the fruits. I'm going to mix this for a while because what I want it a little lighter than the regular um, fruit food cake. So this is going to be a little lighter. And we know we don't overwork our batter when we're doing fruit cake. You don't want to overwork it. So that's why we don't use a, a, a regular electric mixer because we don't want to over, overwork the batter. And we cut and fold so we get rid of all of the, the lumps and stuff.
like I said, I want to work this a little more than the regular um, fruit, the regular fruit cake. So it is like that right now, but I'm gonna have the food sweet in a little bit. So we'll cut and fold to get rid of some of the um bubbles that were created in it from all that mixing. Alright, and I'll okay, so I have some burnt sugar here. I might just add only Maybe a teaspoon of burnt. Oops. Oh, teaspoon. I wanted to add a. I wanted to add a teaspoon, but guess what? I missed the spoon. But let's see the color that it's gonna give. I don't want it too dark. I think that's about good color right there and like I said um, here in this pot I have um, I have some fruits I have some fruits in here and I use the rum cream at the um, the baileys as well to mix the fruits and like I said, I have about an eight pound, what eight pounds of fruits, and it's um, there's mixed peel, there's prunes, there's cherries, raisins. All right, so it's a variety of fruits in there, and the fruits I I didn't use a blender, I use a food processor. I use a food processor to mix this. All right, let's work that again. It's gotten a little thicker since I had the fruits. And I got more fruits to add. So I'll get the remaining of fruits and I have some more in my food processor here. And this food processor is um a heat cup. It's an eight cup um food processor. Okay. So as you notice, everything in my kitchen is huge because I normally do a huge batch of bacon. And hopefully I can get about seven or eight, 10 inch cake from this one. And I'll just let you see as I go. And like I said, this is rum, 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 <laughs> sorry, Bailey's. Bailey's fruit cake, right? We don't want to waste anything, okay? Because here the things are so expensive to buy, so you want to make sure you don't waste it, right? Want to make sure you get your money's worth. So, this is what my batter looks like. I don't know if I want it just a tad bit darker than this but i'll see the more i mix when it's all combined what color it will have and i use two different kind of bailies this has a little um apple pie right 
and I had a little of that in there so you know it will have that little happy flavor and this is the original and I also use just a bit of white rum as well we're not leaving out our white rum we still want to add a little don't want to leave out your Jamaican white rum yeah so that's what it is oh my god this smells so good see And I think I want to add a little more burnt sugar. And I normally use burnt sugar instead of, um, like I said, I don't normally measure, but I, you know, for you who's watching, um, I don't, because I normally bake so much, I don't use browning because browning tend to get a little, to get a little bitter if you use too much. So, I work with the burnt sugar. Somebody also asked if I make my own, own burnt sugar. No, I don't. As you've seen, oh, as you've seen the bottle, it says Blue Mountain Country burnt sugar. And I buy the same brand molasses as well. There's no molasses in this one. Because it's um, Bailey's, I don't really want to use too much other stuff to take away the the flavor okay so see what this is all right and so this is my butter okay so these are the pans that i'm using for the um for this particular cake and i'll show you um how I grease my tin. I know a lot of people use the grease paper. If you want to do that, you can go ahead, but I just do this. I spray them and then I flour. My oven has already been on for a while, along with some water. So there's some water in the oven. Like I just, once I'm baking, I always tend to do um, a water bath basically it's called you know to stay in the oven keep it sweating and keep so that helps to keep make your cake stay moist as well so this is how i do my cake in and once i do that my my cake easily easily come out of the out of the tin they don't stick in there okay i gotta find a way to this is gonna make a little mess y'all but i normally clean up my kitchen you notice since i've been done my um i move all my utensils out the way already the thing is that i cannot move the cakes that are here because i don't really have any anywhere else to put them and these are going out on sunday to be delivered all right i just wanna i got more to do but i just want to do um these two so you will see oh i'm doing that and what i'm doing i'm just gonna get um i was already using this mug to hold my spoon and stuff so i'm just gonna use it to do my my dippings right and what I do, I'll try to do the same thing in all the pans I'm using. So, ooh, let's try not to get any on the side, but I think this, I'll probably just put like, I'll probably put two in it, two cups. Because as you know, this will rise and you don't want to go too high with it so when it rise you know you don't want to go too high with it so when it rise it um uh, 
I gotta find a way to get this down off the side. So what I'll do, I'll just go like that. Because I don't really want to have it on there because that will cause it to burn you all if I don't remove that. Alright, and so this I just shake it. And like I said, it's a little lighter than I'm doing it to be a little lighter than um the regular toothpaste. So hence I did work it a little more than I would normally work the food cake. Oh my spoon is still here, just fell in. You know what? I need it. hard using this thing this cup i don't know if it's too big kind of hard not to get it dripping on the side all right there we go. you can just shake it you know just write it a little bit to get all the air bubble out. When you do that, you get rid of whatever air bubbles in your cake. And so these are going to go in the oven and maybe I want 20 to 30 minutes, depending on the temperature you bake them at. Um, and if you know your oven, my oven is mostly an old school oven. So if I right now I have it on 300. So once I put everything in, I'll give it a time for everything to eat up and start cooking. And then I will reduce the temperature until like 250. Um, like I said, my oven is old school, but I know the oven. So you will have to know your oven. And if you have one of them newer, <laughs> one of the newer version and, the, you know, a little more upgraded version, then, you know, you will know how to handle that because it will tell you at one temperature you can bake and stuff like that but always we just have to figure it out but okay and i'll come back and i'll let you see the finished product and i'll make sure to cut one so you can see what it turned out how it turned out Alrighty. okay hi everybody welcome back to cj's kitchen so i am done baking my bailey's fruit cake and i'm gonna do a bit of testing right now i've actually went ahead and tasted it you all this is bad stuff um i did a smaller one and just a smaller version of the bailey's fruit cake and here i'm just cutting out a bit of that and i'm just gonna pick it out i'd already gone ahead i couldn't wait until it was cool i actually oh my god it is so scrumptious it is scrumptious you are scrumptious it's still warm. Mm. The texture of this thing is so good. Look at that. It still has a little of the chunky um fruits in it. But there you go. And if you break it, mm, look at that. This is delightful look at that and so that is our bailey's fruit cake just a different version and you can check our video out okay have a good night bye